Aquarius, welcome to your Why Did They Ghost and Are They Coming Back reading. I have already pre-shuffled and pre-meditated on the card, so we're just going to jump right in. Okay, Aquarius? So for Aquarius, the person most heavily on their mind, why did they ghost? Four cards, please. Why did the person most heavily on Aquarius's mind ghost? Three more cards, please, for Aquarius's person. One more card. All right, guys, we're going to dive right in here. So, um, yes, we've got the Nine of Wands. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and we've got the Devil, okay? Um, someone could have an addiction to sex. Someone could have a an addiction to money here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, there's a lot of pentacles, so definitely an earth sign. So Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. We also have the nine of wands, so you could be dealing with a um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius as well. But I'm picking up heavy earth, specifically Capricorn here. Um, so yes, I'm picking up an energy of someone who was trying to... Someone who felt guilt here with the devil and the nine of wands, all right? They could have had some kind of money issue, gambling addiction. That's for some of you. For others of you, I'm picking up someone who might have had an addiction to sex. Um, just because of the pentacles are about the physical. Um, this person could even have a drug problem as well. But this person felt some kind of guilt, some kind of an anxiety towards this connection and I feel like they ran because they gave off this image to you that they were grounded that they were nurturing I feel like they put on a false mask for you here okay Aquarius they really showed themselves as something that they weren't is what I'm getting here and this person got scared and 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 ran away is what I'm getting okay let's clarify this sorry Okay, let's clarify this um, let's clarify the ace of pentacles please for Aquarius this person let's clarify the ace of pentacles okay three of swords the knight of swords yeah I'm picking up a coward energy here this person like practically ran is what I'm getting here. Like I said, I'm getting an energy that they couldn't really live up to the person that you thought they, they were. This person has a lot of self guilt, a lot of, a little bit of victim mentality here is what I'm getting Aquarius. Um, this person is really in their head. Okay, with the sword energy, the three of swords, and the three of swords is victim mentality. Let me clarify the devil. For Aquarius, can you clarify the devil, please? Clarify the devil for Aquarius person why they ghosted. Clarify the devil here for Aquarius. Page of Cups. Yeah, they could have been. I mean, okay, so I do sexual magic readings as well. The Page of Cups is a slutty energy. This person could be addicted to sex. This person could um It's like it's almost like an energy where this person just kind of does what they want. There's a lot of selfishness here coming from this person. And I I think I think that they gave you the idea that they were somebody that they're not. Is what I'm picking up heavily here. Can you clarify this nine of wands, please? Clarify the nine of wands. Because there's definitely a self-sabotaging energy. This person has their own demons. The hangman. Yeah. This person wants to do what they want to do. And I think that somewhere in this connection, uh, there wasn't a lot of as much freedom as this person may have wanted is what I'm getting here. I feel like this person like literally just 
I feel like this is a, just a flighty person. Like they come in, they come out whenever they want. Look, we have the fool at the bottom of the deck. This is literally what this person is, Aquarius. The person is a fool. They're very self-centered. They're very about like this person spends a lot of time in their head. It's like they attain something that they want here with this Ace of Pentacles. They get it. Okay, they get the victory. They come in fast with that Knight of Swords. And then just as fast as they move in, they move out with the, the victim mentality and this flighty energy of the Page of Cups, okay? They're always craving something new. They have an addiction to something new, okay? And with this Queen of Pentacles, let me just clarify this Queen of Pentacles. But I already know this is like the image that they, they give off, like they can nurture, that they, can, they, they want to grow this connection, but that's not true. They give off that energy or they say those things but they don't mean them temperance see this this person <laughs> with the temperance card it's literally about mixing together the potions to create whatever you want okay this is literally this person's stance this is literally this person's <laughs> game okay they they come to their person or whoever they're pursuing with the energy of someone who they think their person wants them to be, okay? But this is a false mask here, okay? They are the devil in disguise. They, they are not who you think they are, all right? That's what I'm getting here. With the fool at the bottom of the deck earlier, it's literally... It's literally like this person just, they do what they want. They, it's, they're selfish. They want what they want and they don't care who they hurt here with this three of, with this three of swords and they move fast. I feel like this is somebody who came in and went out just as quickly. All right. For Aquarius, is this person going to reach out or contact a, uh, Aquarius, come back at all? Can I get four cards please for Aquarius? Three more cards for Aquarius, please. Is this person going to come back? Guys, make sure you comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. I love hearing from you guys. If you talk to me, I talk back. Okay. One more card. Is this person going to be showing their face? <laughs> um, okay, we got two. All right. So we've got, ooh, we've got the King of Cups. We've got the Three of Wands. We've got the Hangman. We've got the Death. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, definitely watch their reading. So, because they had something similar. This person does have emotions for you here with this King of Cups. Okay. The Three of Wands. I feel like this person... I feel like this person is going to leave you in limbo for a while. Honestly, like Aquarius, I don't think I see this person coming back. We have the death card in the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles talks about independence and the death card talks about transformation. In this particular situation, I feel like this person has let this go with the hangman here. I feel like they're just going to leave you out to dry. All right. This person is very selfish. This person, um, this person doesn't, to be honest with you, they don't really care how you feel is like what I'm getting here. I think that they like you they have emotion for you but they're the king of cups okay they have control of their emotions um they don't at this time feel a need to express them to you okay again they're gonna hang leave you hanging out to dry is what i'm getting here okay there is a possibility of this person reaching out because i do see emotion in the connection with the hangman it's like they're they can make a decision to go the other way. It's not like it's set in stone with the death card here. It's not. It's not set in stone. All right? But the likelihood of this person reaching out to you, Aquarius, is it's it's not very likely. Okay? All right. This is what I got for you. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And check out my other videos, okay? Take care.